Happy Sunday, everyone! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are doing our top five favorite donut shops around LA. Now, this is our own personal tour of our places that we love going to because donuts are fun, especially on weekends. We don't have them too often, but like she always says, treat yourself. When you yeah. had a hard week or month, treat yourself. <laughs> So now we're gonna go to our first stop, which is Sidecar Donut in Santa Monica. They have three locations currently, Santa Monica, Orange County, and then their newest location is in Manhattan Beach. Let's go. We got our donuts, we got four of their donuts. So with Sidecar, they have their standard menu and also a bunch of things that are seasonal items. So we got a few of each. We got a Huckleberry Donut, which is on their standard menu. The Saigon Cinnamon, which is also on their regular menu, I believe. And we got a Lemon Poppy Seed and a Blueberry Champagne. Yeah, we've had a couple of these before and these are like ones that are always good. Yeah, if it's your first time, I would just say Huckleberry is always a perfect choice. Yeah. These donuts, they're more of like on the cake donut side. They're a little pricier, but they're high quality and more fancy donuts that we think is great if you're like taking it to a party or to someone's house or just treating yourself for, you know, no apparent reason. If you would classify these, I would say these are like the premium of the premium. Mm -hmm. It is expensive. So like for the four of these, we paid it pretty much $20 yeah. for four donuts. Yeah. But we do think it's worth it. It's yes. worth driving out to. And like every once in a while, it's just like, hey, let's just, let's do it. Yeah. Let's drive out to sidecar. And you can order ahead so you don't have to wait in line. Yeah. And we went on a Saturday morning around 9 a.m. when it used to be really busy around that time, but today it wasn't too busy. We were probably in and out of there in like six or seven minutes. Yes. I'm gonna try the lemon poppy seed one first because I had my eye on that. <laughs> yes. It's still warm. Mmm. Lemony. Very lemony. It's good. And this is their Saigon cinnamon. It's like a cinnamon sugar on a cake donut. Mmm. Mmm. It's like eating cake for breakfast. Yeah. So you really can't go wrong with any of these. I feel like they have donuts for everybody as long as you like donuts. Mm -hmm. They also have vegan and gluten-free donuts. Yeah, and we just found out today that on Mondays they have malasadas. All right, off to our next location on our tour. Next stop, we are visiting Donut Man at the Grand Central Market in downtown LA. Originally from Glendora, Donut Man is famous for its strawberry donut and my favorite, the peach donut, which we unfortunately couldn't get today because it's not in season. Strawberry donuts run from February through October and the peach donuts are in season late summer. Both will cost you a little less than $5 each. We're back in the car. These are our mochi nuts. This place is best for mochi donuts and also Korean hot dogs that have like the cheese and stuff on it. Mm -hmm. Not her favorite. So we're really excited to try this. We've never had mochi nut before, but we've had mochi, mochi donuts. Mochi donuts in Hawaii. They look like this. They're made with mochi flour instead of the traditional regular flour. Mm. The difference is that it's chewier and mm. not as pillowy soft but more of like a chewy texture compared to the original American donut. As a result it doesn't taste as heavy yeah. either but it does take some time to get these. Our wait time was 10 minutes. They made them we, fresh. And they also have other locations and we are at the downtown LA location. In LA there's not many places for mochi donuts so mochi nut is the go-to place. Next we arrive at Little Tokyo's Cafe Dolce. They serve a variety of freshly made donuts, like their popular strawberry donut. Our favorite items are the green tea donut and the blueberry roti. We love these items because the fillings are not too sweet and the outsides are pillowy soft. Alright, the 
final stop on our donut tour. We went to Dotton Doe in Monterey Park. And this location is also known for their marasadas and mochi donuts. Earlier we went to Mochi Nut in downtown LA for mochi donuts, but this location also has mochi donuts. And I think both locations are really good. They have really good flavors, but the marasadas, if you don't know what they are, they're like Hawaiian donuts. They're filled and fluffy and delicious. And if you've never been to Leonard's in Hawaii, you need to. This one we have is the Thai tea flavor masala, and we have a green tea masala as well. Take the first bite. The thing we gotta warn you about masala is that the sugar on the outside gets everywhere. It's probably not a good idea to eat this indoor, but this is so good. It's like really fluffy, mm -hmm. and the filling inside matches perfectly with it. Yeah. So if you like filled donuts, mm -hmm. this is perfect. Like you'll for sure love these. And unfortunately, all of these border on too sweet. Yeah. But they're donuts. They're why not dessert for breakfast. <laughs> yeah. This one is excellent. Highly recommend this one for sure. All right. I want to try the mochi. We got a green tea. It's so pretty. Mmm. If you are into not so sweet, get the mochi donuts. Yeah, the breaded part tastes a lot more mochi like, mm -hmm. I guess, and not as bready. Mm -hmm. These are so good. So, Dot and Doe has two locations one in Pasadena and one in Monterey Park. They are open pretty early, and also they don't do phone orders, so you have to make your order in person. Yeah, as you saw in the video, that location in Monterey Park does have a self serve kiosk. And it was really quick and easy to use. Mm -hmm. And we probably waited less than 10 minutes. It was probably like between five and 10 minutes and it was out in yes. that short amount of time. Yep. I give Dot and Doe a 10 out of 10. I think other than Sidecar, Dot and Doe might be my favorite place. Yeah, agreed. 10 out of 10. So to conclude our donut tour, these are all solid donut locations that if you've never tried them in LA, you need to. Yeah, and really it's just a fun way to do like a tour and do something crazy for a day and eat nothing but donuts. <laughs> Although these are the ones that are worth driving out to, make sure you support your local pink box donut location, mom and pop's shop. Yep. Because those are always good and satisfying those and are nice good and cheap. Too. Yes. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give us a thumbs up and let us know if you've ever tried any of these locations and what you like about them. We post videos every Sunday, so please check back every Sunday for new videos. Bye!